So today guys, I bring you another Dying Light 2 video and today we look at the best OP weapons in the game. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so within Dying Light 2, there's quite a few weapons within this game. Thousands would be an understatement, but there are a select few which are considerably more powerful than the others and today we check them out okay so before we go any further just in case any of you ain't a member of my discord already if there's a weapon you see here today which you like the sound of and want to get your hands on it join my discord down below there's plenty of people there willing to help people out on all platform i've got dedicated uh, loot helpers for people who will help you with duping whatever so yes join my discord it is linked below Okay, so let's get into it guys. Five of the best weapons you can get in this game. Okay, so firstly people, we have the Silent Hill Pyramid Blade. Now this is a weapon which is super rare and saying that is an understatement. Many, many people still ain't even aware this weapon is in the game. It is that rare. Now the only people I've seen get this are the people dedicated to farming vendors. Now these are the guys that just go to a vendor, check their stash, then go to sleep, wake up, go back to the vendor, rinse and repeat this process for hours upon end until they eventually get this weapon to spawn in. I have had a couple of people on my Discord say they've got them from the, the sunken airdrop crate at the bottom of the map, the end game farm, which if you ain't aware of, I'll link that in the video description. It does drop some of the best weapons in the game and actually a couple of the other weapons I will mention today seem to be exclusive to certain instances and a lot of people are thinking these sunken airdrop crates could be those instances but yeah this pyramid blade obviously a uh, easter egg to uh, silent hill it actually says itself in the description looks like something inspired by a video game now this is a weapon you actually can't put mods on so you can't apply the correct charm to it which seems to be a little underwhelming but if i'm honest with you at a level 9 when this drops at over 500 damage it is stupid powerful a lot of level 9 weapons artifact weapons struggle to hit 500 even with mods but this thing is an otter monster and it hits like a truck but yeah guys a pyramid blade one of the rarest weapons in the game as far as i'm aware is definitely one to keep your eye out for Okay, so next up, people, we have the Enzo Katana. Now, this is a weapon which is utterly brutal. I actually had a lower level version of this, which I used for a long, long time throughout my playthrough. I mean, I think it was like a level 5 or 6, but I was using it against much higher leveled enemies, and it was still doing serious work. Now, my level 9 version came from a pal on my Discord called Lebron. I mean, I've searched high and low for this thing, and the highest I could get was a level 8. But level nines are out there and this is another one seemingly well not i wouldn't say exclusive because i do think most loot in this game does drop at random i mean I, there may be uh, sources for these loot drops but i do think the higher leveled enemies the more stronger enemies may give you a chance and definitely the end game farms in terms of the sunken airdrops again bottom of the map that farm is unreal and that's a place a lot of people are getting this enzo katana now this you can put mods on it, you can put the correct charm on it so you can literally keep instant repeating putting that on, you'll never run out of its durability, it just lasts forever people. Mods it's just completely up to you. Now I actually got this with two times fling on it and empowerment which increases damage. Fling applies blast with critical hits and it is unreal. Now it's a shame you can't take mods off this because I would like to experiment with it. Even so guys you can see here 481 damage with these mods on absolutely unreal of a weapon and because it's so light and you can swim with it pretty quickly it's a decent one for sure so yes the enzo katana is definitely up there with the best weapons in this game at the moment next up guys again in no particular order we have the barbarian now this is a long sword now this guys man oh man i was slaying with it now this is another weapon i had actually real early on and although I remember at the time it just taking way too long to swing with it, I just don't think my character was up to it back then. I think I could have been like a level two or three. And I remember using some thinking I could have had a better weapon at the time, a lighter weapon at the time, which was helping me more at the time. But now 
using this it is just an utter monster. I mean, you can't hit or attack as fast as what you can with the Katana, the Enzo Katana. But geez, this feels like it hits harder. It really does. The mods now I've got on this are Slit, Slaughter, Empowerment and the Corrupt Charm, obviously. And Slit and Slaughter just apply Bleed to said enemy, which is a great mod either way. Again, I wish I could change mods so I could experiment. But either way guys, the Barbarian and how you decide to use this thing and what mods you put on it, I'm certain you will love it. Next up, people, we have a bow. A bow called the Yardstick. Now the Yardstick is believed to be the best bow in this game. I mean, we've got ones like the Rust, the Nails, but for a lot of people, they are seemingly locked or glitched or bogged even at a level 6. They can't get them higher than a level 6. Now I've actually seen myself a bow, I'm pretty sure I've seen a bow at uh, higher than a level 6 myself, either way I ain't too sure, this was given to me again on my discord by Lebron who's got the hook up for all the best weapons, no doubt about it. To be honest I need to farm more, I'm just so busy trying to find secrets this and the other, I do need to farm more weapons because you know there's, there's way more hidden weapons in this game that people haven't experimented with, that's probably what I'm going to do this week. But yeah the yardstick is believed to be the, uh, the best bow in this game. And man, oh man, it does feel like a beast. With 353 damage, clearly you can't put mods on this. But the best thing about it is it doesn't have a durability, so you can just use this forever. It is a great, great weapon. So yeah, guys, I would say the nails is great, the rust's great, but the yardstick is even better. But either way, guys, balls in this game do hit amazingly. And if you know how to use them and you have the perks within your skill tree uh, that supports bows, they won't let you down. But yeah guys, as far as I'm aware, the Yardstick is the best bow in this game right now. Next up people and the final weapon on today's list we have the PK Crossbow. Now the PK Crossbow is an utter animal. Now this weapon is just ridiculously overpowered to the point of it scales with your level for one and i'm pretty certain when your character level is that of a nine it's around that thousand damage mark its description reads semi-automatic pk creation perhaps the best thing these guys ever gave to the world and i wouldn't even disagree with that so the pk crossbow is a weapon you are rewarded for siding with the pk you know the electrical stations you unlock across the city and you can either give them to the survivors or the pk i think on the fourth or fifth turn that like you give the the pk the electrical stations side with them you get this pk crossbow and again it scales with your level so if you do this early on and you got this weapon you probably ain't going to need any other weapon throughout your playthrough it is that crazy now the other crazy thing about this weapon is guys it's complete well i wouldn't say the weapon's glitched even if it does offer a thousand damage at a level nine but there's an interesting thing where you can get three bolts with this it doesn't matter what bolt it is either you can get three unlimited bolts with this weapon if you don't know about this exploit it's pretty simple firstly with your pk crossbow at hand select the bolt you want three versions of doesn't matter if you have ammo or not just select that bolt mode i.e toxic impact freeze whatever then shoot the weapon again even if you've got no ammo in it just make sure you get that animation then guys just go to your stash any stash on the map it doesn't matter then simply put the pk crossbow into your stash and take it back out upon doing this you are given one free bolt do this 20 times and you get 20 bolts do it 100 times and you get 100 bolts the crazier thing is guys once you back out of your stash you'll have an equal amount of bolts on the floor in front of you so if you do this a hundred times guys you'll get 103 bolts go straight into your inventory and you'll have another 103 bolts on the floor ready for you to pick up so 203 bolts and it's an easy way to max out all bolts guys take about do it for about half an hour you're going to max out every bolt so yes guys no crafting no wasted materials no nothing utterly unbelievable so yes in my opinion the pk crossbow is definitely one of the best weapons in this game without a shadow of a doubt okay so finally and this ain't a part of the five but a special inclusion anyway because everyone can get this the kadoom shotgun now the kadoom shotgun is a weapon exclusive to the doom easter egg if you don't know about this there's five black ducks hidden around the city you have to find these five black ducks then take them to the basement within the vnc tower 
put them on certain tables, create a star shape, and you get the Doom Easter Egg Challenge. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a guide in the video description which explains all, shows you the black dot locations, and how you open up this Easter Egg. So once you are inside of this Easter Egg, guys, you get to use the Kadoom shotgun, but it is exclusive to this Easter Egg and to this challenge. But guys, there's a way of taking this weapon outside of this challenge, and it's quite easy. Once you're in the challenge, just quit out of your game. When you load back in, you'll have the Doom Kadoom shotgun within your inventory. And this thing is even more OP than the PK crossbow. This thing one taps everything in the game within a certain range. Literally, if you're 10 foot in front of any enemy, this will one tap everything. And you get like 2000 shots with it also. Now there's a few things you need to know upon doing this exploit and taking the Kadoom shotgun out of the Doom Easter Egg Challenge. When you're in a challenge and you quit out and load back into the game, if you try and go back to the Doom Easter Egg, the elevator will be stuck on level zero and you won't be able to recall it back up. The only way to solve this at the moment is you need to stand by the elevator and invite a friend into your game. When you do this guys, the lift will just all of a sudden just appear open and then you can just go back into the challenge and rinse and repeat. And you can do this exactly the same way when you run out of ammo with a Kadoom shotgun, you can go back into the Easter Egg and repeat this uh, this exploit. Another thing to remember is guys, don't put the weapon in your stash. If you put the Kadoom shotgun inside of your stash, it can bug out and when you pull it out guys, you'll have no ammo in it. So keep it on you always. Now you can drop it on the floor, you can dupe it with your pals, you can do all that good stuff with it, but yeah, just don't put it inside of your stash. But yeah, the Kadoom shotgun guys is absolutely unreal. It will make any playthrough for any player utterly easy even on the hardest difficulty it is that crazy and there we have it guys our well, five six op weapons from the world of dying light 2 and the end of the video has arrived now if you have any amazing weapon you think i should check out which you can obtain in game please let me know down below in that comment section if you have a certain mod combo you want me to try on any weapon please let me know that also can always hit me up on my discord too again link below you should definitely join if you haven't already but guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more dying light be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one